So for shows like this, the process of fitting and getting a wig from start to finish is usually we have a selection of wigs that we come with uh, and then we do research on each character, fit, stuff like that. And so then we'll have fittings with each performer. We will try and find a wig that really works for them and their hairline as much as we can because everyone has a different sized head and everything. Uh, from there, we'll usually adjust on the actor themselves. We'll check the hairline and mark things like color stuff that needs to be adjusted, hair that needs to be added, removed stuff like that um, and then from there we will start working on adding the hair as needed and then we'll start styling so usually that involves things like curling the hair putting it in rollers for synthetic wigs we often end up uh, actually steaming the hair because it's the best way to get the plastic to actually stay in shape and then usually we'll start to brush the curls out put it into some sort of shape and style uh, as soon as we can, we do like to also try it again on the performer because it's very different to do it on a fake head versus a real head. So it's really good to actually see it on them and then adjust and then usually we'll finalize and uh, get approval with the designers for the fit, shape, color, all that jazz. Uh, and then we will document how we styled it so it can be maintained throughout the show. So one of my favorite wigs so far in this show is for the character Rosenberg, which uh, Zoe has been working on styling. It is this one right here behind me. Uh, it has a lot of different styling elements involved, including curls, side rolls, which are very in period for the timepiece. Uh, we also have additional color pop that was added uh, along the hairline to make the character stand out. And yeah. I just think it has a lot of character. It's really fun. And the actor also really embodies it because he's just such a performer. <laughs>